out this morning clearing out some yards to be able to set my bees down into. I have a little bit of an optimistic forecast coming at us. So I pulled out the tractor from the farm and this is one of the yards out of five I have I'm going to set bees down into. This is an old farmyard right along the escarpment so a little bit of a heat sink down here. So hopefully I can set down, uh, I'm counting at least two truckloads here. So hopefully a full truckload here and then another truckload over there. And if I have to, I've cleared out two little spaces here just to be able to fit a third if I needed to. I don't want to put too many bees down in one place just to kind of, you know, you get too many bees together in one spot and they tend to drift. So I just want to kind of set out about two or three hundred hives per yard. And uh, I'm going to start moving my bees out probably on Wednesday. So what I'm looking at is a forecast starting next Monday to be 10 degrees and nighttime lows, you know, above freezing. So that is extremely optimistic. The only problem is as soon as I, we start approaching that type of warmth and if it doesn't freeze at night, I'm going to, going to be getting stuck. And I don't want that. So I'm going to have to push the limits a little bit. I'm going to put them out a bit earlier and maybe work on days like today where it's minus five and it's supposed to get cold at night yet to be able to work on that frost. And hopefully it stays cool enough through the day that I'm able to open up the shed and keep the temperature of the shed down uh, to prevent bees flying out. And then hopefully it's cold enough that uh, as I you know, move the bees out to the yards and it's cold enough it keeps the bees in the boxes because if it gets too warm I can't work through the day because they just fly. So we'll see how things go but it looks like I'm, I'm not going to be able to get to start this uh, until Wednesday anyways. So I'm going to start moving Wednesday on the cooler forecast and then just keep poking the hives out uh, throughout the day as I can and then into the night and get them all out before the weekend and see, uh, see if that forecast holds itself. Here's my fourth yard done. This is where I'm going to put my nukes. This is a, uh, a yard that's nice and sheltered right along the escarpment. It's always, you know, I measure my temperature from up at, the, at my yard and they come down here and it's always four degrees warmer in this yard, just a little bit of a heat sink. So that's where I want to put my nukes just because they're a little bit smaller. They won't get hit by the wind the same way and they can enjoy the, the lush nature of this early bloom. These poplars usually come out a week before everything else. Just a little piece of paradise here. The old Massey. Got a bucket. I had a lot of trees that I had to push down. Because we had that heavy snow we had last year just tore apart this yard for trees. So I had to push a lot of them back. Great job for a bucket. It's a poor old snowblower. It's doing exactly what I wanted to do. 
put a lot of shit through there. Built like a tank. Throws at 50 feet. Really nice. Quickens up the job. Just does a beautiful job here. So let him put like wherever I push, it leaves banks. It leaves a mess. But wherever I can snow blow, it just does just a beautiful job. Just clears the plate. So that's my luxury. 